In this video, we'll be covering the concept of goods and services tax, otherwise known as GST in India. Implemented from July 1st, 2017 by the Indian government, the GST replaced the country's indirect tax structure, which included central taxes and duties such as the excise duty, service tax, countervailing duty, and local state taxes such as the value added tax, entry tax, etc. GST was embraced as an opportunity to redefine supply chain models, customize IT processes, and evaluate internal and external arrangements to safeguard interests and minimize their tax costs. Following are the components of GST, classified as CGST, SGST, UTGST, and IGST, and their applicability in their corresponding domains. The GST structure would follow the destination principle. Under this, imports would be subject to GST while the exports would be zero rated. In the case of interstate transactions within India, the state tax would apply in the state of destination as opposed to that of the origin. In order to register for GST, a supplier of goods and or services is required to obtain GST registration in every state from which it supplies goods and or services. GST registration is not required if the aggregate turnover of a supplier is less than that of the threshold limit of the registration or if the person is exclusively engaged in supplying GST exempt goods and or services. The goods and services tax removed the cascading effect by facilitating seamless flow of credit. Taxpayers are well permitted to avail the ITC of GST which they have paid on procurement during the course of or in furtherance to business to make taxable supplies. The input tax credit can also be utilized to make payment for output GST liability. Under GST, cross utilization of the taxes paid on goods and services is allowed on conditional basis where it should be noted that CGST and SGST can't be offset against each other. Cross utilization under GST has been changed with effect from 1st February 2019. The below criteria can be used to show the moment of ITC and cross utilization under GST. In terms of exports and supplies to special economic zones, these supplies have been categorized as zero rated supplies. A supplier making zero rated supplies is eligible to either supply goods or services under a letter of undertaking without the payment of tax or to supply goods or services by paying tax and thereafter claiming refund for the tax paid. The composition scheme under GST was implemented to ease the compliance burden on the taxpayers. It is valid for small taxpayers with an aggregate turnover of up to INR 1.5 crore. Suppliers can pay tax at a specified percentage of their turnover during the year without claiming the benefit of ITC on their procurement. Such suppliers cannot separately recover taxes from the buyers on their invoice and consequently these buyers aren't eligible for claiming ITC on the tax paid by the suppliers wanting to pay under the composition scheme. And a supplier making interstate supplies is not eligible for the composition scheme and cannot opt for it. For more information on the topics covered in the video, download our exclusive PDF file from the link in the description.